In a previous program we saw how to calculate the body mass index and what we found that for the particular example we used we got 32.65306. But what does that mean? Is that good? Is that bad? Are you overweight? Underweight? Normal weight? Well in this program we're going to look at all three conditional statements and we're going to put a message on the screen that tells you where you are. Let me close this program down and the first thing we're going to need is a new label. This is the old label LBL BMI and what I'd like is another label in the same format. However if I copy and paste this I won't know where that original label was or at least it's difficult. So if I have a problem I like to cheat intelligently. What I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to put a piece of arbitrary text in, say an X. Now, Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste, assuming that it's going to let me. All right. Copy, paste, got it. Now I can align the labels and the first thing I'm going to do is just to get rid of the old label name and give it a proper name. And this label is going to show the category that I'm in. So LBL and then category. So I've renamed the label. Now I can get rid of those X's. They've been useful but goodbye. and those are now there. Now I can concentrate on the program. What I'd like to do is to put some text in LBL category dependent on the value of BMI. So they say that if your BMI is over 25 then what I want is the category label dot text to become overweight. So what we're saying is that if the BMI is greater than 25 then we're going to show the label overweight. Let's see if that works. So 1.75 100 and yes it says overweight but supposing I wasn't overweight would it still put that there regardless so 1.75 and let's say 50 no it's under 25 and it doesn't show anything at all now I'm going to make a rather simplistic assumption. Let's suppose that you're either overweight or underweight. I know that's not true, there's a normal category, but stick with me for a minute. So if that were the case, then, and I'm just going to move that line up. So if BMI is greater than 25, you're overweight else whoops, else and now a little programmer trick I want basically the same thing again so I copy it paste it and then change that to underweight so now what it's going to do is, if the BMI is over 25, it will still put overweight on the screen. But if it's not over 25, in other words, 24.9999 or less, then it'll put underweight. So let's try that out. First of all, we'll try it with the original example. 1.75 and 100 kilos. Yes, that still puts overweight on. That's good. 
But what happens if we use the 50 kilos example? So 1.75 for the height and 50 kilos. That should put underweight on the screen and it does. Our program works. That's wonderful. But as I mentioned earlier, there aren't just the two categories. There are three. So how do we cope with that? Well, you can have if, if else, if else, and so on. But that gets messy. So how about something a little neater? What we want to do is to decide what uh, category text, text is depending on the BMI. So what we want to do is to select case BMI. What that means is we're going to look at the value of BMI and decide which case, which type of thing it is. And we have different cases. So case less than 18.5. If you're under 18.5 as a BMI, you're, ex you're assumed to be underweight. So LBL category dot text is equal to underweight. If and you'll notice it's put the is in. Didn't have to do that. I like that. If you are over 25, then LBL category dot text is equal to overweight. Okay, those are the two extreme cases. So if you're not underweight and if you're not overweight, then case else, anything else, well, anything else must be between 18.5 and 25. So LBL category dot text is equal to And normal is the word that they choose, not one I would choose. OK, so let's try that now. Let's try our original example, 1.75 and 100 kilos. It says that we're overweight, if that were the case. If we now try it again, with 1.75 but this time 50 kilos it says we're underweight that would be expected too now what about if we use 1.75 and 75 kilos ah there we turn out to be normal so our program works in this little video We've had a look at how if statements work, and there are three kinds. A simple if, if this is true, do that. So if BMI is greater than 25, make the label overweight. The second type we've seen is if else. So if BMI is over 25, make the label overweight, else make it underweight. And this third category, select case, is where we can have as many options as we like and we define which category something is in and then say what happens for that category. So in our case we had three categories, under 18.5, over 25 and anything else, in other words between 18.5 and 25. And we decided that the labels were going to be either underweight overweight or normal.